one of the things you always want to remember with the copper coating, the gold coating, the brass coating, the bronze coating, and the statue bronze coating, and the aluminum is this. You want to use a primer that's going to be close to that color. In other words, if I'm going to paint with the copper coating, I want to use a primer, in this case the red oxide primer, and when you apply the copper coating, what it does for you is that you don't need too much application of copper or brass, bronze, or statue bronze. If you're going to do, let's say, the statue bronze, in that case I would use the black oxide primer. Why? Because it's a dark finish and it's going to give you more to work with when it comes to the product. It's going to last longer. So, if you put a white primer on this piece right now, or a white primer on a statue bronze piece, which is almost a black paint, what's going to happen to you is that you're going to have to use more application. Because if you have a white background, you're going to have to use more copper or more bronze. So stick to the primer that's closest to your finish. That's the only reason we recommend all the time to use a primer that's close to that color. Now, it's very simple to apply. Our products are water-based products. so you can use a roller, you can use a brush, you can use an air sprayer. Now, let me show you a very simple technique how to use this. If you get your copper coating, you can use even a roller like this to give it highlight on, the, on this piece. As you're putting it on, you can highlight pieces like that. Now, you can also use the spray gun. In this case, I like to use the spray gun because this piece has a lot of detail in it. There's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of grooves in it. So in order for me to use the roller, you know, it's going to take me a little longer. You can also use a brush though. Just remember that. But with the gun, it's much easier. Now, we always get asked this question. What kind of PSI do you use on your gun? You know, use judgment on that because we all use you know, our guns in a way where we really don't follow manufacturer, you know, suggestion. So, you know, do your application how you feel comfortable with it. I use the gun at around 45 to 50 PSI. That works for me. You know, it all depends what kind of compressor you have too. So, let me show you. It's very simple. When you spray it on, Again, this is at 45 to 50 PSI, and it comes out just perfectly fine. Now, another question we get asked all the time is this. What happens if I put water in? What happens if I reduce it with water? What happens is this, is that you weaken the product a lot. If you're going to use water, make sure you use water enough just to make sure that it comes out through the gun. Other than that, I do not recommend you using more water than what you supposed to on our products. But what I did here, with the gun or with the roller, you do with all the products.